All right, friends, today we are taking a look at an amazing, awesome way to eat way more spinach than you ever, ever imagined you could do. This is a recipe called wilted spinach. And hang on, hang on. If you think you don't like spinach and you don't like to cook, you got to try this one. Okay. What the recipe is, is it's one of our first cooking recipes that uh, we're going to talk about that'll help you get in a lot more vegetables in a way that you'll actually like them and in a way that won't completely bust the bank and in a way that won't require a whole heck of a lot of cooking on your part. Because I'm assuming that if you love to cook in the kitchen, you've already got lots of veggie recipes and inspiration already in the pages of your recipe books in your cupboard. You're like, oh, oh, wait, I have recipe books. Oh my gosh, I should look at those. Yep, there's another tip for you. Okay, wilted spinach. You can literally memorize this one with me, or I'll have the recipe in the show notes uh, if you're listening on a podcast player or on couchactive.com. Uh, it's simple, 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 but I'll give you a couple little tricks in how to dial this one in just perfectly. Okay, what you need is a bag of spinach. And I would just recommend going to your grocery store and uh, actually, you could get a head of spinach, you could get a bag of spinach, whatever. If you want to do it the first time, and you're not sure you like spinach, and you're not sure about this whole spinach thing, find a bag of baby spinach, and just get one bag, doesn't matter if it's big or small or whatever, just get a bag of baby spinach um, that, you know, like a big bag, uh, not a Costco bag, that's too big. Um, <laughs> bag of spinach. Okay, ingredient number two, butter. Now, I know, I know, I know, I know butter isn't on the list of like a superfood, most awesomest, healthiest thing in the world. But I, I'm we're just getting more veggies in here. We're not trying to be, you know, perfect, right? So butter, a uh, salted butter for sure. If you absolutely don't do dairy or butter, you probably already have your substitutes like olive oil or, you know, other things. Um, and your palate already likes olive oil and those kind of things. Um, but if this whole veggie thing is new to you, go for the butter, go for the butter. Um, and uh, then just a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and a tiny bit of water. So here's how it works. Oh, 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 one more garlic, not fresh garlic, even if you have fresh garlic, not fresh garlic, just garlic, salt or garlic granules. And if you have garlic salt, use that. Okay. So here's what I do. I take a big pan, a bigger pan than I think I need, like my big old like 12 inch saucepan or fry pan, and I put it on my stovetop. I add my butter. And if I'm doing a big bag of spinach, which has like, I don't know, six cups of spinach, but don't worry about measuring it too much, folks, because then you're going to triple the amount of work it takes. But I'll put in like mm, three tablespoons of butter in there. And then I sprinkle uh, garlic salt. There we go. That's the easiest one. Just garlic salt. So butter, garlic salt. Turn on my stovetop, let it all melt down. Really good. But turn it on like a medium high. Don't turn it on high high or anything. As soon as that butter's just about melted, I take my entire bag of spinach and just dump it into the pan. And so what you'll have is this like big whole mounded, rounded, uh, just big pile of green leaves that's, you know, probably four inches tall by 10 or 12 inches wide of green leaves. And then I let it, I try to stir carefully a little bit of the leaves into the butter. Now it's a little awkward and some of the leaves will try to fall out of the pan and stuff, but don't worry, that's okay. You'll be just fine. Then after the leaves start cooking just a little bit, and I'm talking like 30 seconds here, I take and add just a little bit of water. Um, just a few tablespoons. Now, realistically, the way I actually do it is a lot of times I have a glass of water I'm drinking. And because I'm making this just for me, I take that glass of water and I just like dump a little bit in <laughs> and the whole pan will go because it's hot and the grease is in there and it's reacting together. Um, the reason you want a little bit of water is because uh, otherwise that spinach will get dry. And so we add just a little bit. And if it looks like it's get, trying to get a little dry, then you add a little bit of water. If you add a little too much water, really? No big deal. You're fine. 
And then as it's wilting, what's called as wilting, the, the spinach isn't actually cooking. The spinach is just wilting down. And I just carefully and slowly just kind of flip over with tongs the spinach into the butter. Just kind of flip it around a little bit. And like really quickly within like two minutes, that spinach will just wilt down really quickly. And then you'll be able to see as you look at it, it's probably one quarter of the size that it was originally. Like it wilts way down to nothing. And what you want to do is turn your burner off right when it looks like it's not quite done. And how you know that is because you've got some spinach leaves still there that are still like kind of completely raw, but most of them are wilted down. And when you look at it, it'll be really obvious what's wilted down versus what's a little raw piece. And when you've got just a few little raw pieces left, you turn it off, scrape the whole business of spinach into a bowl or to a plate, and voila, you will be able to eat an entire bag of spinach that quickly because the butter with the garlic salt on the spinach is so yummy. Now, don't y'all go and be a purist and try to do this without the butter or the garlic salt your first time around, or you will not like it. And you'll say, see, I don't like spinach. So, and then you'll never eat it. And then, it, you know, blah, 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 blah. So that's your recipe. Spinach, garlic salt, butter, little bit of water, rocking and rolling it in that pan. There you go. All right, friends, I would be honored to help you succeed in your exercise and food and health goals. So head on over to couchtoactive.com and sign up for a service with me. Let's get you rocking and rolling. That's couchtoactive.com. <laughs>